my name is Marielle from Aqua Mermaid and today I want to share with you my 12 top poses for mermaid photo shoots. Make sure to print and bring with you on set our photo guide that you can download below and that will help you to take beautiful photos if you don't know exactly where to start. There is three main locations you can take your mermaid photos. First, it's on land, then it's dry. You lay on your side a long extended body. Make sure your, your torso is straight and high. Your shoulders are back and you're looking with a nice smile. You can move your head side to side. Um, you can put your your hand on your tie and do a beautiful S curve with your body. If you want something a bit more fashion, you can bring your arm on top of your head and look up. Always keep your body long and extend, extended. Also, with all those positions on your side, you need to keep your feet pointed. We always want to see you on your side of your hip because that way we see your mermaid tail if you're just sitting on your bump we don't see that much and that's number one on your side number two you lay on your stomach then you can be uh, the pool can be behind you you lay on your stomach and you will bend your knees and point your feet up then your tail will come at the back of your head you can move a bit your feet thin on the side to see it more and you can just uh, cross your arms in front of you you can bring your arms under your your head really important with this position you don't want to squish your face like this your hand can don't even need to touch your face it's just like a frame for your face to bring all the attention to your eyes and your smile The third position is on your back. Then you lay on the side of the pool, you lay on your back and you bend your legs up. You keep your legs straight and feet pointed. This is an ab workout, I know, but it looks really cool, especially if you're a big group. Then bring your leg up, point your feet. You can bring them on the side a little bit uh, and you can turn your head looking toward the camera. Make sure your, your hair are all over the floor. It looks much nicer with your long and wavy hair. And you can just leave your hands close to your, um, your head. Something a little bit more advanced is how you position your hands. Um, uh, what you want to do is just something relaxed, but your top finger is always a little bit higher than the other one and it goes like, a little stair like this then you can just do like this and leave it close to you um, on the floor and do different movement this way fourth position on land is to just sit on the edge of the pool you want your leg to be as much as possible on top of the pool because it will give you a nice blue background and this one is really good if you photographer can to take it from high up then you just sit as a L position, uh, your leg extended, you're, you're sitting and you can put your hand extended straight beside you and you can just turn your head, look up uh, and your photographer will be there and take a really nice photo. Then you should always start with the, the, the position outside of the water because you have your hair dry, your makeup is all good and when you are done with the position outside of the water, you can start going in the water but your photographer can still stay outside of the water. then those one will be pretty much taken from the top uh, the positions uh, you can start just laying on your back uh, doing like a, a star floating uh, smiling you can keep your eyes open your eyes closed and uh, maybe just relaxing doing like a cross uh, with your body another one you can go with is to lay your elbow on the edge of the pool and you bring your feet up bent behind you that way the photographer will take a nice uh, picture of you with your face and you bring your feet back uh, make sure to always point your feet and bring them as high as possible that way the photographer can see it another one that is a bit more tricky and it's it's used like in fitness classes uh, you bring 
your feet on the edge of the pool and your your bump is in the pool and mainly you will hold yourself with your hands on the edge and you will lift your legs up uh, that means you will be like doing some abs and then you can just uh, lay your legs straight pretty much on the wall and you're sitting in the water and you can look different ways to take a beautiful photo Uh, the last one in the water that your photographer can take amazing photo is in action. You just swimming your face outside of the water. And one of the best ways to swim in to see you really well is when you swim on your side. Then mainly you just extend one arm and then you can lay your head on your arm or just lift, lift, lift it a little bit. And then you just do a nice wave with your body. You can do it on your side, on your back with your arms extended or your arms on the side of your body. If you do it on your front, it can be nice too, but we don't see your face. Then according to the look you want, you can just do different shots and just ask the photographer to take it in action. And something also you don't realize is that you swim really fast with the mermaid tail. Then really try to swim slowly because it's hard for the photographer to catch you when you're just swimming super fast like a little fish. For the underwater photos, there's the swirl position uh, and we did a little video that you can check here about how to do the swirl and mainly you're going to go lay on your belly at the bottom of the pool, you will bend your knees and point your feet and you will bring your hand like we did outside of the water, uh, like we were doing outside of the water on our stomach but now we're at the bottom of the pool. Then you can do it static, just lay at the bottom of the pool, smiling, relaxing, or you can do it spinning on yourself Then you can start swim, uh, swimming, pushing the water on your side and you will be spinning on yourself, going so, doing some motion um, in the photo. One of the best underwater pose is to just go down in the water and relax sideways. To do that, it's it's just always easy to start, go lay at the bottom of the pool and just relax there, legs extended, being sideways. Sometimes we're fighting because we're always floating up. You can help yourself um, blowing a little bit of bubbles, that way there will be less air in your lungs and uh, that, that's like a little balloon that brings you up, then that will make it'll help you to sink and also you can have little weights uh, as a belt or inside your tail that will help you to sink at the bottom of the water. Also make sure to not move too quickly because it, it will make blurry photos for the photographer um, and also uh, the more you move the more air you consume then you really want to stay there as long as possible just move a little bit your head move your arms keep your legs extended feet pointed um, if you have some trouble to just stay static, you can slowly move to your dolphin kick on your side and then we can capture nice photos of you. Another position that is quite nice to take photos underwater is to swim toward the camera or mainly just take a good breath and go down under the water and just stay in front of the camera and do different uh, positions. Something that is nice is that you can play with your hair, bring them up and make them flowy around your head, swim toward the camera and then if you do, do like a little diagonal we'll be able to see your tail behind you uh, than if we just see your face but we can see your legs swimming and following you then it will be a beautiful photos or sometimes you can swim toward the camera um, and diving then you will see your head at the front and then your tail at the back or do the opposite um, always try to show your tail in all the photos because you're a beautiful mermaid that was my different position I suggest you to do when you are on land in the water and underwater I think it will be really helpful for you to start with those one print this document that is down the link below download it and print it and bring it on the set with you show it to the photographer that way he, can, uh, he will know the different angles it should take for different positions and from those you can do tons of variation and have a ton of fun with it. Thank you for watching, I hope that was helpful. Let me know if I forgot any poses that you do and looks really well. Also put hashtag Aquamermaid on social media on all your photos, that way we can find them uh, and give us our comment. Make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next one.